Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. I've done a little bit of decorating. I've had a tidy up and cleaned up all the uh, the mess. <laughs> I've gone wrong with smoothing gone and everything. Um, I've redone this. Uh, the goods entrance now comes down here. Um, and what I've done is I've managed to get a path underneath a little tunnel coming out that side. So now hopefully pedestrians, even though they're still using it at the moment, they should start to use this because it's a more direct route, hopefully. Still going to have a few people wandering across there, but there shouldn't be loads. I've only just pressed play, so there we go, we've got people using it. When I started smoothing it, it cleared the tunnel entrance, so we're just going to sort of disappear into the rock now. <laughs> and they shall magically reappear right the other side. <laughs> That's why I've covered it in trees. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got the church decorated. I've stuck some gravestones in and around. Stuck a path in, filled it with blockers. And I've put a, a fence around it. Some gates, some gates and crosses on. So that's that done. Um, I've started doing some beach, I'm sticking a lot of rocks and bushes and stuff, a lot of sand just to decorate this area up. I've put some shops in here um, just to sort of start driving some traffic down. Most of these are being used now, apart from one. Um, most of them got catchment, so this should start bringing some people down here. Not quite yet. <laughs> we'll do soon though. Oh yeah. Some benches and post boxes. A post box and some telephone boxes. One of them little signs. <laughs> little train in the background there. You know what I love about these signs as well. The whole point to North Kiltdown. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it's a Simpsons reference. Uh, Willie from The Simpsons, the uh, janitor, he's from North Kiltdown. <laughs> I made me laugh when I spotted that. I probably made me laugh. <laughs> I like little subtle jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to stick a, a castle in there. I'll show you what else I've done. Um, over here we've got a bit of decoration around the docks. I've put in some, I've made some jetties with the paths and used some of the boat decorations. I should have switched them to off. Um, yeah, I'll replace them and I can actually turn the steam off so um, they'll just be static. I've actually got one over here in homage to the boat that I crashed on the beach last time. <laughs> this one's actually deliberate. <laughs> Grounded on the rocks, uh, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, just thought stick that in. So, yeah, I've decorated up this area a bit, made a bit more sense of this, uh, this dock, not dock, <laughs> depot, boat, yard thing. <laughs> so, yeah, he's in reach of there, so, so is he. So, as this starts expanding down this way, um, we'll get more passengers there. This this should drive some to here. This has already started building out. I've <coughs> excuse me. I've extended the road over, built a little bridge, um, and I've put a crossing in. These these are the earliest ones with an actual barrier. Um, everything else just looks too modern at the moment. I'll update them later. But yeah, the AI is going to start expanding down here now. I've got a little bridge in there. The only station on this narrow gauge line is this one that hasn't got anything within its catchment. But I've sort of just sort of started marking out where the area is going to go. Um, put some ballast in here so I can put some walls in. And I'm going to fill this with the sort of industrial buildings and have some footpaths going down so that there's no traffic on this side and just have it as an enclosed industrial area 
um, as part of the sidings and everything. We'll decorate all that up, do that on the next episode. So, is there anything else? Quite like this. <laughs> Just makes that look a bit better now. So I've put blockers in all around here. The only area I haven't put blockers in is this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I've put some blockers in along here so it doesn't build into a wall or anything. Um, but I'll let the AI build some buildings in this, but the rest of it is all blocked. So it can't it can't build through the rest of that. I don't need to block anything down here because it won't build over the tracks. So yeah, um, I'm definitely going to do the castle on the next episode and we'll get this sidings done. Um, I'm not doing them tonight. I've had a long day today and I haven't had I've had an hour or two on the game, and uh, yeah, I've just been messing about and tidying up and doing a bit of decorating, <laughs> make it look a bit better. I leveled all this out and smoothed it all out and everything. These are running at okay speed, so keeping a decent speed up on the hills, which is good. Only dropping one or two mile an hour. Nobody on there yet. The um, passenger service is working. This is bringing people in. 15 on that one now. We've got people waiting to go back. 11 coming in there. And we're going back. Nobody going back. Anybody waiting to come? There's 8 people waiting to come. So. I start to pick up slowly. I could just leave it with a one boat on each route at the moment. Wait till the boat gets full. Um, when we start getting full, I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to concentrate on decorating up seating. I'm not going to go here, there, and everywhere like I was doing on the last map. I'm just, I'm just going to concentrate on the one town for the time being. Anyway, um, I want to get the goods coming in here. And start getting the goods networks up and running, get some food on the go, um, maybe get some oil coming from over here or something, some fuel and stuff. Um, but I'm going to mainly concentrate on getting everything into Seaton and just leave these towns to grow on their own. Um, I might go and sort of just help them along with some of the roads and things. This needs a, this one needs another connection over this side. It's only got the one connection. Um, traffic's going to get bad down there. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to do something with these as well. So, But, yeah, I'm going to mainly focus on this one. Mainly focus on seat and get this, um, get this built up into a whole sort of really nice area. I can do a, a really good fly around with, with the camera. And then we'll start working on filling up the rest of the map as we go along. I think maybe a football ground in here. Make it into a bit of a park in the middle or something. I've already got the park here though. I did have to delete a couple of houses. <laughs> sneak the way in. <clears throat> if you leave any, any gaps, the AI will find them. <laughs> got more buildings going up here. Oh, the Prussian. Don't need that yet. <laughs> yeah, so short episode after a long one <laughs> yesterday. Well, that should have been up the night before actually, but I've been having problems again with the computer. I have identified what the problem is now, and I've had the computer apart. It's not my hard drive after all. It's a, uh, the uh, power supply unit. Um, it's rattling its head off, and it's it's. I've had some heat testers, heat testing program on the computer, and it's, it's it is definitely that one that's overheating and causing the problems. So, which is it's actually a good thing because it's going to be cheaper than buying a new hard drive. I've had some uh, some refurbished ones that are really cheap. I'm just 
contemplating whether to get one of them for the time being or wait a little bit longer till I can afford a, a brand new one with a warranty. Um, but yeah, I might I might just get a cheap one for the time being. It'll be a be a quick fix. <laughs> I want my computer to run better. Although early on in the game here, we're not we're not going to get into any problems. Um, but yeah, it's it's doing my head in. I need to get it sorted. So I will do I will do that soon. I'll put a little footbridge over here. <laughs> so people can get back and forward to work. That's active building. What I haven't noticed as well is instead of uh, two of these buildings, instead of putting low person capacity, I actually click low cargo capacity. <laughs> I only noticed because some symbols appeared above the buildings. So like, well, what, what's that? <laughs> Not people coming in and out. Um, I think I might just change this bit of road at the end here. There we go. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> That's better. The people are walking in and out the door now. So I've done it somewhat. I've got something a bit more in keeping with that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do the whole thing. Oh well. <laughs> Wrecked it a bit. That's fine. I'd rather have them walking in and out the middle bit just looks a bit better. <laughs> you know what I'm like with my little details. <laughs> Something's not quite right, it annoys me. <laughs> if you've been watching my series you'll know that by now. <laughs> yeah, my, my subscribers have gone well up as well. I'm up to, I was going to say thank you at 100 but that happened quite a while ago, I'm up to 150 something subscribers now so yeah a big thank you to everybody that's uh, subscribed and has been watching and liking my videos and stuff um, yeah that's amazing really good and I've joined Steam as well so I've got the game on Steam, I'm going to get everything set up on there um, so I'm going to be able to start sharing maps and things soon um, I start making some custom maps and getting them shared on there. So yeah, I know it's <laughs> somebody mentioned in a comment on something that uh, Steam had a, set, a summer sale on, so I went with a quick look and Transport Fever was like thirteen pound something. <laughs> so I was like, oh, go on, I'll buy it again. <laughs> I got it on GOG last time. Um, I bought it well over a year ago now. Um, I didn't realise I was going to get, I was going to still be playing it after all this time or I needed to be on Steam to be able to share stuff properly and things. So um, I was like, yeah, do you know what? It's been well worth it. <laughs> Don't mind paying 13 quid again. <laughs> Especially after all the updates they've done and everything, do you know? That's been, it, it's been amazing. It's been fantastic. The, uh, that last performance patch really did improve things. So, yes. I was grateful for that. <laughs> I may be able to play the game a lot longer. And then I started having problems with my uh, with my bloody power unit. I'll get that sorted though. I'm going to get a new one of them ordered in the next couple of days. Uh, dead easy to swap it out as well. So, Right. Um, yes, tomorrow I will get the castle done. Um, and we will do this this area and get this filled in. Um, I need to get this done so that I, so that this station here's got got some passenger draw to it. Because this one this one actually reaches up to the church as well. Um, you see the the whole street highlights up, and there's a people magnet in there, so you can get it. Church on the hill. 
That's set to attract 50 people a month at the moment. So um, that'll draw people. And it's got a reasonably decent catchment area around here as well. So as this all sort of grows out, that little line should, uh, should be quite profitable. That one's going to have a decent catchment area. That one's got the shops now. This one's right next to the station, so that's that's going to fill in pretty quickly. Um, that's already started doing. Well, last time I looked here, there was only a few buildings around here, so yeah, it's that's growing rapidly. I reckon this whole area will fill in within a year or two. So they'll have plenty of catchment there. So I just need to create something to draw people to this area. Um, and I'll just do that by putting industrial buildings in and footpaths and things. And eventually the AI should hopefully start building out this way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block a lot of this area in. Big football ground in the middle with a park around it. Leave some room for the AI to grow around it. Big castle. Might block all that in. Yeah. Must have shops around. So yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Not a lot tonight. <laughs> I've already done all the work off camera. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to go and watch something on TV, I think. <laughs> Dogs are worn out. It's been a long hot day again. I've actually been building in my kennel today. <laughs> Uh, not quite got it finished yet, I've just started painting it. <laughs> so yeah. Um yeah, I'm gonna go and chill out for a bit. Um uh, so thanks very much again for watching and I shall be back in a day or two with another episode. I shall see you then. Good night. <laughs>